second element of the creed that we are examining has to do with Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, died and rose again. This belief in Jesus is central. 2,000 years ago, he was born in Nazareth, and from the time he was 30 years onwards, people asked, who is this man? How does he speak the wisdom he has? How come he forgives? The questions were good, because people realized this is no ordinary man. He is, in fact, the Son of God. He is God humanized, as it were, God with a human face, so that when we hear him speaking, when we see him doing things, we're seeing God speaking, God in action. And that has revolutionized lives ever since. The central message of Jesus is the kingdom of God. Now, to explain the kingdom of God, I think the best thing is to look at Jesus himself. You see the kingdom of God happening. When Jesus met people, their lives were transformed. They discovered God in a new way, and they had a new relationship with God, and they began to live social relationships, relationships with other people in a new way. And this is the kingdom of God. The discovery, we've one God, we're all children of the one God, we're all brothers and sisters to one another, and we want to bring this project of God into this world and discover it where it's already in action. So everywhere you see people living love, relationships of love, with all the nuances of love, peace, justice, humility, meekness, truth, Wherever that's happening, you're seeing something of the kingdom of God coming alive. So the first point for us when we read the creed about Jesus is to realize here is the model of Christians. He shows us what it means, how many great examples we have. Maximilian Kolbe during the Second World War, giving his life for his fellow prisoner. Martin Luther King, Pope Francis the other week embracing a man covered with tumors all over his body. Jesus is a great model, but there's even more. In the creed we say Jesus died and rose again, and this is a key. Jesus transforms the world and can transform us from within. The point is, Jesus, the Son of God, entered into our human condition right to the point of suffering abandonment, suffering death, so that there is no human condition of darkness, sin, isolation, that he has not experienced himself. And the great Christian acclamation is, Jesus is risen. Death is not the last word. And from the very beginning, this became a central point for the first Christians. Jesus is life. Jesus is resurrection. Jesus transformed your life. This doctrine of the resurrection isn't just about resuscitation, no. It tells us, the man Jesus who went through death has entered into a new realm of existence in God and now is present in every point of the world, in all times, and can, in every life, make a difference, bringing darkness into light, suffering into healing, death into life, slavery into liberation. And that has both inspired and transformed people throughout the generations. That's why Catholic agencies put up schools, hospitals, social projects all over the world. And how many people will say, especially we see sick people, in Jesus I found consolation. Because their limited resources, once united to him, who is infinite, the Son of God, their limited resources takes on an infinite value. Nothing is small if done out of love, that is, if linked with Jesus.